Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rachel Ray here and today we have a really, really anticipated unboxing. This is Dreamer Designs 2.0 and I'm going to tell you all about it. I really will. Um, first, I want to mention just off the bat that I did not order version 1.0 when it came out. They started last year in February, but they did not ship internationally. That did change within a few months, if I remember correctly. But based on the reviews that I had seen, I decided to wait until 2.0. Um, it happened a little later than I expected it to. I will say that, but they did do a 2.0 um, and it came out in at the end of February this year as you know. Um, so uh, just the quick details before we open the box. I ordered this on the 25th of February. That was the day that they launched. It shipped out the next day and it was delivered today, which is the 5th of March. I hope to have this video up on the channel today as well. Um, it was stuck in customs for four days and I swear to you, this is the fastest I've ever gotten anything. However, because it sat in customs, and I'll explain that at the end of the video, if you are an international customer, you may want to listen to that. Um, it was in customs, and as you can see, there's a collect charges label here at the bottom, but we will get into that after I get into this box. I'm not going to make you watch me struggle, so I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, just really quickly before we get into the boxes, just as a little suggestion for the company. They did come lying flat like this, um, and I do believe that it may be easier if the boxes are shaped in a kind of like this. I'm not sure. I don't know much about packing, but I think it may be a little bit easier um, for shipping companies, but I could be just talking out of my butt, <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but anyway, the way that they decide to do it is the way they decide to do it, and that's how I got it. So, we have four canvases here, as you can see, um, and they're all roughly the same size, I believe. Um, there are two Chuck Pinson and two Anne Marie Bone. I'm going to go ahead and put timestamps in the description box of this video. So if you go under it and you click the little arrow, it expands the information box. And in there, I will put timestamps and the title of each diamond painting. I don't normally do that, but I know that this is going to be a very long unboxing video. And you may be looking for a specific um, a specific painting, and I don't want to waste your time. Um, but if you're going to watch the whole video, get a drink, because it, it might take us a few minutes. So um, here we go. I'll show you what I got. So I got, oh, this is going to be interesting. Yeah, I got Reverie by Anne-Marie Bone. I'll put pictures. I got Dreams of Elysium. El Elysium? Elysium? I hope I'm saying that right. I got Sea Breeze Path by Chuck Pinson and also The Colors of Life by Chunks Chuck Pinson. Okay, so I'm going to put the Chucks to the side. I'm going to op open his after I open Anne Marie's. Anne Marie Bone was my favorite artist that Dreamer Designs had in their version 1.0. And so I am excited that I finally have one. So, oh, and if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Rachel. <laughs> I'm Rachel Ray. Um, I hope you stick around and watch more of my unboxing videos um, or just crafting videos in general. So, I live in Ireland as well, so, you know, that's the international bit. All right, we're going to do Reverie by Dreamer Designs first. Let's look at the box, okay? Let's look at the box first. This comes in a very nice box that has a handle. Um, I guess if you want to give it as a gift, you know, that might be nice. I don't think I would carry this around in the box, like transport-wise, if I was going to a friend's house or something, but you could. Um, it has six steps for how to diamond paint on the back. It tells you what's inside um, and the features and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's nice. It's a holographic box. It's a, it's a nice touch. It looks really, really good. And it has their their website on the bottom of it. 
So let's open this up and have a look. By the way, I'm not going to look at the toolkit for every kit. It just, that would get um, a little, a little redundant pretty quickly, I think. All right. Let's see, is there anything else? No. Right, that box is empty. So, first of all, that's pretty interesting. It comes in this tote, um, a reusable tote, does it say? A reusable carry bag. I like that it's got purple. You know, the, the theme is purple. I don't want to touch anything until I'm finished talking because it'll be my first experience. But um, I'm not really sure what I would reuse it for. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, if you have any suggestions for what you would use this for um, to reuse it, I understand that they're they're doing their best to save the environment, which I totally dig. I'm all about eco-friendliness. It's definitely not necessary, but it's nice to have that extra little attention to detail. So in the bag we have a toolkit, which is in this really soft kind of cloth bag. That's actually really nice. I like that. That could be used for anything really. You could use that for jewelry for anything. So I'm going to look at the, the contents of this, of this toolkit. Okay. I wanted to make sure that we were zoomed in. Okay. And that's the bag empty. So in there we have a bag of bags so you can put any extra or open bags of diamonds. If you don't want to kit up using one of the methods that, um, I've shown on my channel, you could use the bags. I used to do that. It's no problem at all. Great when you're on a budget. I've got a Dreamer Designs branded pair of tweezers, which are really sharp. Please be careful. Keep the top on. Um, this is nice if you are a tweezer person. <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not really a tweezer person. I find it hard to pick up and hold the diamonds. I shake a little bit, so. But it is nice to have just to pick them off if you make a mistake. Um, there's two clear pens. There are two pen grips or squishies, as I call them. And you could stick it on like so. And it makes it a little bit more comfortable, especially if you've got friends or family who want to try diamond painting. This is a great way to go. It looks like they have three different multi-placers. So they have the three drill placer, the six drill placer and then a straightener, a large straightener. So this helps the diamonds align if they've gotten out of alignment. I'll have to show you that sometime. So those are the multi-placers and they just stick into the end of the diamond painting pen and you can exchange them out, you know, just change them out whenever you, whenever you want, whichever one is the best for you. What's really excited to, exciting to me are these little pots for your wax. So they have a sticker that says Dreamer Designs. It's got a little bit of pink wax. Um, this, honestly, truthfully, um, it's, it's a nice touch, but I don't know if we need two caddies. But, you know, if this is the feedback that they were given from the first one, because I remember... You know, there's two pens, two wax, and then now there's two trays. I think there was only one tray before. I think it's good if you're going to do two to do two of everything. So these have Dreamer Designs logo on the back as well. So very interesting and thorough toolkit. And this is this is really cute. Um, I don't know if I would keep all of my stuff in the bag all the time, but it is nice to have and it's a nice material. Okay, and now we get down to the nitty gritty. So right here is where you will start if I put you the little timestamp down below. <laughs> we just talked about the toolkit, so please go back and have a look if you didn't see it before. So here is our canvas. And we have two bags of drills. All right, so the drill packs are, they are, branded as well. So it says Dreamer Designs on every package. We're going to look more closely at these 
in just a few minutes. So I'm going to put them to the side for now. And we're going to look at the canvas. Okay, first impression of the canvas. Um, this is, how do I explain? On the, on the box, it says Dreamer Cloud Canvas. It's not soft, but it is a cloth-like material. Uh, it could be made out of uh, polyester. And it's wrapped with a purple ribbon. Move that to the side. And then, okay, it goes this way. Here we go. Okay, so inside, ooh, interesting. It's really vivid. Um, sorry now, I'm pulling out a foam core. Um, one thing, no offense or anything, but I don't think that you'd need a foam core with this kind of canvas. Um, the only time that I think that you need a foam core is with double-sided tape double-sided adhesive and because this is a poured glue I think this is unnecessary so I'm not really sure if you really need this in the kits um, but it's up to you it's your discretion um, I do like that there's a sticker I did read that this is a sticker um, I haven't obviously I haven't seen I haven't seen anyone undo it so let's see if we let's see if I can do it I heard that it was Nope, I can't. I can't get it off. I'm sure. That looks like a sticker. Yeah. It's got a clear backing on it. So you could cut this and you can put it onto your containers if you're using containers. There are 55 colors and at the end they have their la their ABs labeled. I'm going to look at the symbols here in a little bit. All right, let's look at this canvas. Because it is a cloth-like material. I'm going to assume that we can roll it backwards a little bit. I'm doing it loosely because I've never touched one of their canvases before. I've got little bits of bits of cardboard box coming off. Oops. Just to kind of relax it the other direction. And while I'm letting it kind of do that, it comes with a instruction tray, tray, piece of paper. There are instructions in other languages on their website, it says. And then on this side, it says to join the Dreamer community. You can get in touch on Instagram and Facebook. And you get exclusive access to their community Facebook group with the purchase of your kit. So you have to buy a canvas to join their Facebook group. Okay, here we go. So this is Reverie, legally licensed from Anne-Marie Bone. It says the design size is 75 by 60. Sorry, I'm pointing at it, but you can't really read it. So a 29 and a half inch by 23.6 inch. It's, um, it's very tough. There's kind of like, you see how there's, air trapped there. Oops. Um, so let's see, where do I want to start first? There's legends on both sides and they're in DMC order number, which is fantastic. That was one of the reasons why I chose not to go ahead last time. And it was something they said that they were going to fix for this version. So I'm happy that they did that. It is a lot easier for some of us, some people, to go in a numeric order, just like an alphabetic order or something like that, we associate different things. The way they did it before, if I heard correctly from one of the ambassadors, was that they did it from quantity order, so the most to the least of a certain amount of drill. Um, so I'm I'm happy that they that they changed it. This is a confetti phenomena. Um, I think that the original picture. Do I have the box here? I'm going to insert the picture here so you can see it. The picture that's here on the box, the sticker on the box, I can show you actually, 
is a little bit more muted. Um, and the only reason that I'm saying these things is because I think it's important to cover all bases. I've never unboxed this company before, so please don't take it as a, as a dig. This is just facts. This is a little bit more muted, so they do brighten it up. They want it to look a little bit more, I don't know, vivid is, is my impression that I'm getting. Let's see. It is super sticky, really nice poured glue. I'm going to bring you down to the canvas so that you can have a look at the symbols with me. We're going to, we're just going to look at some of the confetti because all the colors are right here. <laughs> This is the part of the unboxing where I'm going to feel the most uncomfortable because, as I said before, I did not have a Dreamer Designs 1.0 experience. What I did have, however, was a lot of unboxing videos that showed the detail very clearly with up-to-date cameras. What I have noticed from watching other YouTubers and um, Instagram ambassadors is that the symbols are much clearer now than they were before, so that's good news. However, I will say this, this is going to be pretty difficult to complete if you don't like to do confetti. And also, if you have a hard time distinguishing between symbols. There are some letters here like Z, um, there's an I here, uh, there's X's. There are this this symbol here, if you can see where my finger is, here, right here, like an O, a circle. But let's let's move to how do I explain this now? Because I saw another eye. There's this lime green eye. Now they're totally different colors. There's an eye and then an eye with legs. But if I look, let's, let's move. I'm gonna move you slowly. There seems to be, this looks fuzzy to me, but it could just be because of the weaving of the, of the, the canvas material. I can still see the threads in the material, um, but look. I won't know until I do it how difficult it, it will be. I'm just having a look at, at the symbol clarity and whether it's clear or not. I find that all symbols makes it really hard on my eyes. And when ever moment switch to all symbols, if you've noticed, I haven't purchased any more ever moment. Um, there's this symbol, which looks like a U like a sideways C almost. There should be a T as well. Um, the reason that this makes a difference is because, for example, if you have like that I and then you have the C, when you, when you change the direction, say you, you have to work on this sideways, it can be a little, just a little confusing, that's all. But overall, in general, um, I think that the vibrant colors is helping make this pop up off the, off the canvas. And maybe the drills aren't this color. Um, maybe the drills are a little bit different in color. I'm only speculating now because I I'm not sure. I do remember that in the last version that the drills and the symbol color didn't quite match. That was one of the things, but that could, could have been solved. I don't know. <laughs> we will have to see later on. So this is the symbol clarity for Reverie. Okay, I've now flipped over the canvas and we're gonna have a close look at these drills. I 
think, are they in number order? They could be. Right, so I'm gonna show you as close as I can the quality of these drills. They do have the number and then the DMC number, so that's great, that's fantastic, especially if you're working out of baggies. And what I'm going to do now is just flip, flip them over so we can just see the drills themselves. They look to be pretty good quality so far. I see a few tabs, but that's normal. I believe that these are resin. which is the same as like, say for example, Ever Moment or Diamond Dots. So far so good. We have a straggler. <laughs> I'm excited to see what ABs are in this painting. Ooh, there's a lot of air in that bag. Sorry for the sound, that's just a sound on the canvas, I don't know. It's like a vinyl sound. The drills are really shiny and sparkly. <gasps> I think that's 550. Yup! <laughs> Lots of 550, that's awesome. There's a lot of color in this painting, that's for sure. I love electric blue. 929. I need those greens for the for all the um, mountains and stuff, the grass, because it is a nighttime painting. It just really caught my eye. You know I love purple. If you've been here for a while, you know that I love purple. If you're new, you probably didn't know that. <laughs> now you know. These ones look to be a little bit... They have... We'll have to see which one is this. 3363. I'll have to check up on that later on because those don't look to be the same quality to my eye anyway, but they might be fine on the canvas. I love those colors. This Okay, in the camera, it's coming off a strange white color, but it's actually mint. And then here we have the white AB. Holy cow. I love AB drills, though, y'all. Like, I would replace all of my diamonds with AB drills. <laughs> and here's a green AB as well. Very pretty. Super sparkly. AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It, it Talks, it's basically just to differentiate between these extra iridescent coated drills and then like, you know, a normal drill. Can you see, see the difference? Yeah. So that is Reverie <laughs> by Anne-Marie Bone. I'm going to put this away and then we'll start the next canvas. 
Here we go. Second kit is Dreams of Elysium. I'll put the picture here and I'll be showing the picture again in the future as well. And again, if you have just jumped to this clip and you're thinking, where, where are you going to talk about the box and the toolkit and everything, um, please go check out that first part because I don't think I can do this every time. Uh, one suggestion that I have though, if you're going to be putting in these back into the box it came from, you may want to put the slip in first and then start putting the items back in because it's very tight. Just so you know. Okay, so let's get everything out. We have the toolkit. Canvas. Oops. And two bags of drills. put the drills to the side. I was hoping for a sneak peek of an AB drill. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Okay. Wow, it's very, very bright. This is, again, instructions and sticker, sticker sheet. And a foam roller. I'm going to roll it backwards so that it lies flat. Oops. Oh, I just realized that I forgot to mention something in the last part. I'll talk about it with this one. Okay, so on the edges of this painting, there are scalloped edges. This is something that you do with cloth to make sure, to prevent it from fraying any further than the dotted line. Um, and this one looks good. It doesn't seem to have any fraying on it at all. Um, this is Dreams of Elysium, it says. Dreams of Elysium. I believe I'm saying that right. I could be saying it wrong. It's an 80 by 60, 31 and a half inch by 23.6 inch. And wow. And the sun is coming out. So the glare is coming too. In the viewfinder, I can see much better. <laughs> it's just a very big canvas. I love this pink tree. The bridge. And the, there's like a reflection here. So you've got both sides. You've got this DMC inventory list. Again, there's a free Dreamer lifetime warranty, it says. Enjoy Dreamer uh-oh insurance against accidents as well. Okay. Um, we've still got, it's the same thing, poured glue. As you can see it there. And the symbols. So on this one, I'm just having a look over the canvas briefly. I'm going to pause you because I just want to take my time and really have a look. Okay, I think, I think I've taken all the time that I need. And I'm going to show you because most of the canvas is fine, especially in the pinks. Um, but one thing that I do know for sure that shouldn't be overlooked by any company ever is um, not everyone can see color and they have to rely on symbols. So I'm going to show you something um, just to take into consideration. If you, if you are from Dreamer Designs or if you're from any company um, or if you're just a diamond painter, um, do you know, it sometimes... It can, it can be tricky. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring you up close. Okay, we're in the upper left-hand corner of the canvas where all the greens are. On camera, it looks very clear. But in person, it's there are a lot of light symbols. Do you see how there's all of the greens in here have a white except for this black arrow? A lot of the greens have white symbols and because this is a very symbol heavy canvas if you can't see green 
um, or distinguish between greens, this is going to be a little hard because you have the sideways arrow, this half moon going up, you have a half moon to the side. I'm looking in the, sorry, I'm looking in the canvas or in the viewfinder now. So you've got a half moon to the side, half moon going up, and then you have a arrow going up. I don't know what it is about these two symbols. Maybe it's because they're so close in proportion, you know, in the shape. But for whatever reason, my my head is kind of getting confused um, with those symbols. I don't know why. It, it looks like a big blur to me when I'm not looking in the viewfinder. So I don't know if anybody else will have that issue, but this is why I think that it might be a good idea when you have really, really similar, when you have super similar colors to have like a slightly different shaped um, symbol. This is really getting me. Now the, the, the arrow going upward, I don't think there's any other symbol like that nearby, but again, we'll have to see. When they're worked on, you know, and you're taking your time and you're hunting and pecking for certain symbols, that's when you find out how difficult or easy it is, you know? So I don't want to be too critical on them um, when I haven't started one yet, but I just want to point it out that that's, um, that's the only difficult thing that I can see so far on this canvas. So let's, let's have a look at the drills. Okay, so again, there's two packages. This one has a lot of orange in it. The sky, the sky outside is doing funny things. Let's see if I can show you the bottoms. Ooh. Look at all those pretty colors. It's, it's very, very bright. Very, very bright. This one I expected to be super bright. Because it is a spring scene. And again, it looks like all of these are in order like one, two, three, four, five, six in DMC number order. I am happy to get an Anne Marie bone because the colors make me happy. Look at how bright that orange is. Hard to see with the glare. Sorry, y'all. That's A23, I think. Ooh, beautiful baby pink. Oh, I love that one. Oh, <laughs> big old piece of flash. There's a lot of little tabs I can see in that one. I hope I have enough. But I believe if you run out, they will send you more. Ooh, the ABs are in this one. So we have white AB. Very pretty. And green AB. Again, same AB colors. That's the last Anne Marie. Okay, so we have more brown. That pink is just okay. It's a it's a shade darker in real life, but they are beautiful. Match match my nails. 
lots of greens. There's a bit of static in there. All you would need is like a dryer sheet. Tip them out onto a dryer sheet. I've heard some people put them in the freezer <laughs> to combat the static. And look, more orange. Isn't that just a happy color? Oh, they're two different colors, sorry. Yellow. Beautiful. My favorite color with a straggler. It's almost like Halloween in this bag. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that is Dreams of Elysium by Anne-Marie Bone, and let's move on to the next canvas. Here we go. It's our first Chuck Pinson. This one is The Colors of Life, which I can't easily show you right now, so I'll put up a picture. And I'm really excited for this one. This one just screams my grandmother. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to give it to her or do it for her, but it reminds me of her. So again, if you skipped here to, um, to see this canvas, if you want to learn more about what all of the accoutrement that comes with this diamond painting, please check out the first, the beginning of the first unboxing so that you can see my first impressions on all of that. But here we go, drill press, tool kit, and canvas, the ribbon. Take this off. Open this up. Okay. Take out the foam core and roll it backwards. Now, I've had to turn on some lights because we're it looks like we're about to get a storm, a rainstorm. So I apologize if the lighting looks a little creamier than it did just a few minutes ago. Such is my life. <laughs> Living in a very rainy country. Um, okay, so I just rolled it backwards and now it should lie flat. Yeah. First impression is that I think it's a little too bright. I know that this is diamond painting and that it's an art in itself. But the colors look really saturated. Like someone pumped them up to 90. Um if if the colors on the canvas match the colors of the drills and i don't know i mean this this could be just vibrant so that you can see the drills or where you're placing the drills i'm really not i'm not sure and none of us know unless it's been done already, which I'm, I'm not sure. I'm really not certain. This is called The Colors of Life by Chuck Pinson. It's an 80 by 60. It's very large. There's this cabin. There's a, what do you call this? A gondola, I think. <laughs> uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And we've got three deer, a buck, a doe, and a fawn. There's another looks like a, another little pagoda back here with a stone bridge um, and then this beautiful waterfall. I like this picture a lot. I'm just really concerned that if, if the colors match that it would be a bit, you know, in your face. Whereas the, if we look at the box, which I have just here, the colors of the painting itself, which this does look like a picture of the painting. It's quite almost dull. 
in that Chuck Pinson romantic landscape kind of way. Not dull as in boring. I hope you understand what I meant there. Mm. There's also a lot of horizontal lines that I'm noticing. Like I understand with the with the frame here and the you know all the wood there. It's very um it's very horizontal liney. Does that make sense? Is that is that to make it easier to diamond paint with a multiplacer? I don't know. I'm not sure if I like the rendering of that. But again, I don't know. Um, when when someone does complete it, I can make a final judgment call on that. But that's my first impression. Um, there are 52 colors, and it looks as though there's just one A, B in this one, and I think it's in the. Looks like there's some highlights here, here in the house. Some in the waterfall. Yeah. And is there any in the sky or in the trees? No. I don't see any off first glance. But there's there's some sprinkled in on the highlights here. Um let's see. What else can I say about this? I think the symbols are similar to the other ones. Because it's getting a little darker, even though I have all the lights on in this room. They look all right. There are, when you're up close to the canvas, let's, let's get close to the canvas. It's pretty easy to distinguish between these symbols. Um, I'm going to go up into another area here. And you can always feel free to pause the video if you are curious. Make sure to stay still. Make sure it's nice and focused. Yeah, that's definitely focused. So these look perfect, very different. We have that U again. It looks all right, but you can tell that it was printed on this vinyl-y polyester cotton type material um, in person this doesn't really look like much which is scary to me um, it's also hard to make out this shape it looks really good on camera though <laughs> um, anyway um, I feel like it would be hard to believe someone because cameras are just too good now you know what I mean? Anyway, um, this is this is what we're working with. I think, again, my biggest suggestion would be to bring in some alpha, alpha numerics. I understand why companies do this, but when I'm diamond painting in my brain, I find it hard to give names to symbols. You've run out of you run out of words to give them and associate with them, you know? Um, and I think there are other creators out there who do diamond painting videos who have said that in the past as well. I'm not the only one. But it's not, it's not something that I would say to, you know, never buy. Um, it's just a per matter of personal preference. Okay, let's look at these drills. Mother Nature doesn't want to play nice with me. <laughs> now, here are the ABs. Gorgeous. Just beautiful. They have that extra shimmery coating on top. 
very shiny. I think I might try to get through these colors a little quicker. But overall, again, if you've, if you've skipped to this portion of the video just to see chucks, um, these drills do look really good. Um, they look as though they are made of resin. Um, there's a little bit of trash in them. And some of the colors have a few tabs on them, but I believe that Dreamer Designs does cover you if you run out of diamonds. So my, my advice is to use just the best diamonds and then contact the store if you run out of good diamonds to use. But overall, the facets look clean. They look really nice. The colors, in fairness, look a bit more muted than the canvas colors did. Oh, there's a few stragglers in there. They do look good. They're all so many colors, which is great when you're working on really confetti heavy paintings. This one I think is a bit more respectful, quote unquote, <laughs> because it's not, it's not like the first one I showed or even the second one I showed, it's got some nice lines in it. We've got one more strip. I wonder if you can hear the rain outside. Apologies for the lighting. But I think I think this one would look wonderful in an office. Just those those rich dark colors look lovely. That's beautiful. Lots of browns and coral. That's gray. And that, that <laughs> is Chuck Pinson's The Colors of Life. So I'm going to put this away and we'll look at our last Chuck Pinson painting. Okay, here we go. This is the last diamond painting canvas that I have from Dreamer Designs 2.0. This one is called Sea Breeze Path. I'll put the picture there on the screen for you. Sea Breeze Path. Now this I got as a sister painting uh, for Sea Breeze Trail which is another Chuck Pinson image. Yes, they are different. <laughs> yes, they go together. They look very, very similar. I kind of did a double take myself when I saw it on the website, but I went over to Chuck Pinson's website himself and I had a look and indeed, there are two. So we have all the stuff, the drills, the toolkit, and the painting and if you're interested in my first you know first impressions of those things please check out the beginning of the video I don't want to sound like a broken record <laughs> okay so what's that now okay let me just take this stuff out we have that information sheet, we have the symbols and sticker, the foam roller. I really don't think it is necessary, but I could be wrong. 
maybe because it's all together with the drills in that little bag. I don't know. I really would like to hear what you're going to use the reusable bag for though. Give me some ideas. Okay, here we go. Wow, let me make these. Okay. First impressions. This has 49 colors and two ABs. And honestly, I don't know what's happening with the palm trees. Can you see this? It looks like they're dripping. Um, there's a lot of vertical lines again. I'm not sure why. It could be a stylistic choice. It could be the software. We'll have to see when it's complete. And the sky. Now I did notice this when I purchased the painting that the sky is pixelated. Now, in my in in my defense, okay, I, I don't want to I don't want to come off wrong here, and I know that there are people who may take my opinion and think that it's you know the law or something. It's not. This is simply my opinion. Sky is always really difficult to get right. In diamond painting uh, sky and water but this looks very pixelated to me it's a lot of color blocking which is nice um, compared to some of the other paintings that I just showed you but um, I'm just concerned there's um, there's purple in the water This, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a uh, beach fence, you know, to keep the dunes. Yeah, to keep the dunes. I'm just looking at the picture like I did with the other ones. I'm going to show you what's on the box. And you see here, there's the little fence there. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. Um, and that's just me being honest. Again, I don't know how it's going to look until it comes out, but by the shape of where these symbols are placed, I just feel like there's a lot of a lot of horizontal going on here. And um, with 49 colors, I wouldn't really expect that but I might be wrong I might be wrong um I would love to complete this one I think this one is the one that I want to do the most but I don't know what do you think sorry sorry let me get it all in frame um I'm not sure what's this what's this is this a mountain it's the same color as the umbrella I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit different than than another similar painting of his called Sea Breeze Trail, but it is different. I do like the picture. I really do. So let's have a look at these drills. <laughs> I don't want to make you wait forever and ever. Oh, wait, sorry. Let's not look at the drills. Let's look at the symbols first. Here's a close up of the symbols. I think I've said it a few times with the other paintings. I'm not sure if you're just coming in for the first time. There are some symbols that are a little difficult to read compared to others, but in comparison to version 1.0, this is a vast improvement, I must say. One little hint is if you're having trouble reading the symbol, Try taking a picture of it with your phone because your phone has a better eye than you might. Especially these days. Technology, man. But those are two different symbols. Those are two different symbols. Yeah. 
but they're very similar in shape. Um, if you have color, prob you know, color vision problems, this could be difficult, but some people like a challenge, you know? There is a lot of confetti down in the flowers, but there is a lot of single place or, you know, multi-placing, color blocking, whatever you want to call it. It just, I don't know if I like the, the horizontal lines. I think that it looks a bit strange, but that is just my opinion. And, um, and that's okay. Now I did notice there's a little bit of fraying at the bottom of this. But um, they say, you know, that just don't, don't take it off. That, that was already off. I hope you saw that. Um, but just don't pick at it. You, you want to um, leave it be. The, the scalloped edges should stop any additional fraying from happening. Like, if there was fraying up in here, I would be worried, but I'm not worried about it. Um, right, so that is Seabreeze Path. Let's have a look at these diamonds and see what the colors look like. I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> I have to sit down. Sorry, I'm a bit I'm a bit tired now because there's so many and I know I could have split it into two but just let me show you I'm so excited to share this with you and I apologize for the rain I'm not gonna apologize for the rain it's raining <laughs> please come to Ireland and, and enjoy the rainy weather did you know that there's people in the world who who do come to Ireland because it's rainy because there are places where it doesn't rain. When I when I heard that, like when I met some tourists and they said that, I, I was like, what? <laughs> Why would you want rainy weather? But I suppose it's a novelty, you know? It's like snow. If you're not used to snow, you want to go where it is snowy. That's 939. So it's a very bright painting aside from the um, all the sand colors. Wow. 3801. Wow. Very pretty. Okay, what are these? Whoa. Now that is like fluorescent. <laughs> There's an AB for you. Seems like a really light yellow. It comes off as more of a medium, but I swear to you, it's a, it's a light yellow. It's like um, the color of peeps. <laughs> if you know what peeps are. And then this is a nice light. That beautiful unicorn skin looking Aurora Borealis coating. Oh, that shimmer. Can, you can see it from here, can't you? So pretty. Whereas the other ones, they just sparkle on their own. And then we have the last strip. Oops. 
Ooh, I like that color. And again, these look to be good quality resin diamonds. Um, they remind me of Ever Moment or Diamond Dots. There we go. All right. So these <laughs> were all the colors for Sea Breeze Path by Chuck Benson. And now I'm going to give you my first impressions and details about shipping and other opinions. So if you're not interested, that's fine. You can skip on and I'll see you later. But otherwise, stick around and I'm going to give you a little bit more information. Hello, welcome to the end of the video where I'm going to tell you a little bit about my shopping experience and how I feel in general. So if you've clicked on this part of the video to see me bash a company, I'm sorry to disappoint you. However, I try to be as fair as possible in all of my dealings with all of the companies that I review or have a first impression with. I'm not going to lie and tell you that the feelings that I had from last year's launch affected some of the things that I may have said in this year's launch. But I don't think that that's necessarily something that I should be punished for. As you know, I am not affiliated with any diamond painting company. I like to try different stores and see what the quality is like. And if you've never seen me or my face before, then you probably don't understand how picky I am about diamond paintings. But if you went back and you had a look at the unboxings that I've done before and the things that I've said about other companies, you might understand where I'm coming from. Yes, I'm a YouTuber and yes, I have a bit of a following, but that doesn't mean that I don't give a fair chance. I want everybody to understand that I'm probably the poster girl for really expensive diamond paintings and I'm not going to feel offended by that. But what I will say is that I want you to make sure that you know whether that money is well spent or not. It is not for me to say whether that is true or not. In fact, quality is really, quality based on price is based on what's important to you. If something is important to you where getting something for $3 or $5 it scratches the itch and you don't mind if there are bad drills or, you know, um, a blurry canvas or something like that, and you prefer small paintings over large paintings, that's perfectly fine. We all have our preferences when it comes to diamond paintings, and I'm not here to try to change your mind. It does, it does affect me a little bit when I get negative comments based on my own opinions. I understand that we can agree to disagree on a lot of things, but I definitely don't want people to go out there and bash companies or artists who decide to affiliate with one company or another. It's quite childish and we really shouldn't do that. So what I am going to say is this. I ordered this, these four paintings on launch day and they were shipped the next day. I don't know if that was because it was launch day and I don't know if that'll affect things in the future. Um, I was a little disappointed that my local customs office held on to the package for four days. And I'm also disappointed that their shipping facility within Pennsylvania for Dreamer Designs, they upped the value or not upped the value, but they, some companies lower the item value so that when it arrives internationally, that you don't get charged customs fees. It's not necessarily something that every company must do, but because most companies do, I was shocked. I got a bill on the box here. It says 62 euros and 10 cent, which is what I had to pay in order to release this package from the post office. Now, I was upset at first, but I contacted Dreamer Designs and I asked them, I didn't ask them to refund the money. I told them that it would probably keep people from buying if this continued. And I gave them an example and said that if you want more international customers, you may want to fix this 
so that it's easier for them to purchase without fear of getting customs charges added. Because it is a worry that we have. We've had it so good for so long with diamond panties coming out of China and never having to pay VAT or customs duty charges. Now, I know that certain companies, it doesn't, or sorry, excuse me, certain countries, it doesn't matter. Every item is taxed no matter what. But in Ireland where I am, it's like 20 something euro worth. Anything above that is taxed 23%, which is a lot. And even I was looking at the label very closely and I think they actually halved the amount that I would have had to pay. Maybe they felt sorry for me or something. I don't know. But anyway, the update, the news is, is that Dreamers Designs is aware of this issue and they are fixing it. If I have any information of when it is fixed, I will pin it to a comment below this video so that you'll have the most up-to-date information. So please check out and see if there's a pinned comment under this video. I promise you, I will let you know when it is fixed because it is very important. I believe that as far as I'm concerned, I'm the first YouTuber outside of the US, Canada region who's unboxed a Dreamer design so far. And that was just my experience. Now they graciously did offer to refund the amount to me, which is wonderful. I'm actually going to put it towards the seal rescue uh, charity. We're trying to, to raise money for a seal kennel. If you're interested, go check out my whip and chat. I talk all about it. Video before this one. So that was really kind of them. I don't know if they are doing that for everyone though. That's, that's not something that I can answer. If you're having issues with Dreamer Designs, um, with shipping, with anything, you need to contact them. I can't help. I don't work for them. Um, so that was the kind of the first hiccup, if you will. Um, and it was fixed. It was resolved in the end. So let's talk really quickly about the canvases themselves. They're a little pricey at $59.99 each. Um, when I checked out the little, you know, the spin the wheel discount thing that came up for me and I got 10% off, which is, I guess, $2. <laughs> In total, I spent quite a bit of money on these canvases. I'm not going to lie, but thankfully because of YouTube advertising, I was able to help fund for it. But in general, as I was saying before, I normally buy in bulk anyway. I would always buy in bulk. Whenever I'm buying Dreamer, well, uh, sorry, if I buy from Dreamer Designs in the future, I would buy in bulk. I would buy in bulk from Diamond Art Club. You all know that. Um, Treasure Studios Art ships from China, so I don't have to do that with them. But if it's a US-based company, let's say for instance, if Diamond Dots had an online store, I would absolutely buy in bulk. Um, it's just a problem of living internationally that we have to save our money up to pay for these charges and for the shipping. So I hope you can understand why that's such a big issue to people who don't live in the United States, which most of my audience here on YouTube is from the US and I know this doesn't apply to you, so I'm gonna move on now. I believe that that's really all of the negative things that I have to say. It looks like Dreamer Designs has improved quite a bit since their first launch, which was last February. One small criticism that I can make is that I feel that I had to wait a very long time to see any change from the company. I do not claim to know anything about the logistics behind a diamond painting company, but I feel that a year is a very, very long time to have to wait to see changes to canvases, uh, the symbols, the clarity, but not just that, the actual options of, of paintings that are available on their site. They didn't come out with any new designs at all that I could see for a year. And if I am wrong, please tell me in the comments. Please be kind and tell me but whenever I went back to the website, it was the same 20 designs and they didn't really call out to me, if you know what I mean. 
So I didn't buy just to buy, and especially last year, I was in no position to make a purchase like this. So I hope that you can understand. If you watched those canvases being unboxed and you didn't just jump ahead to this part, um, my biggest concern is the the canvas clarity and are the diamonds the same color as the colors that are on the canvas. One of the problems that I had with some of the designs last year is that I felt that they were a little bit too saturated. It was like they were too bright, so vivid that it didn't look realistic at all and it kind of came off a bit pixelated. So I will be interested to see how they work up. Um, I have not seen one completed yet, so I will be interested to see that. Going forward in the future, I think it's important that we give new companies a chance, that we're fair and understanding of hiccups, but I also feel that it is important for people to be able to share their opinions on things as well. Whether it be positive or negative, there is a way about going about it. But I just wanna let everybody know, just up front, this was my experience, my first impression of opening a Dreamers Designs canvas, um, for canvases. And if you have any questions, comments, queries, or concerns, you can leave them down in the comment section below this video. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I'd also really like to hear what you're going to do if you do purchase, how are you gonna use the bag? Because I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Um, I think it's great that companies are thinking about the environment and are using less plastic. That is something that we need to be aware of going forward. And in general, I will be excited to see these designs be kitted up, be, be completed so that I know what they look like and I can update all of my subscribers and anyone who's interested in knowing more about what these are going to look like. So with that being said, I'm going to let you go because this video is probably over an hour long. Thank you for sticking with it. Thank you for listening and hearing what I have to say, especially if you listen to the last part. I really do appreciate your time. I hope you're having a wonderful day and that you'll have a wonderful weekend. Please don't forget to check out the links down below and links to the paintings, but also links to, for example, my Facebook page, my Instagram, the Crafters Anonymous Facebook group, which I share with my very good friend, Mrs. Coffee. All the links are down there, down below. Please check out my playlists if you haven't been here before and consider subscribing to see more videos about crafting, diamond painting, cross stitching, and the like. So with that being said, thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.